Here is your latest African news. Mali. Mali Parliament approves five-year democratic transition plan. Despite regional sanctions for the country's postponed elections, Mali's lawmakers have passed a proposal that allows the military government to rule up to five years. Following a coup in August 2020, the country's military government planned to hold elections in February, but in December of last year, the military proposed staying in power for six to five years, citing security concerns. The economic community of West African state ECHO is retaliated by imposing a trade embargo and closing its borders with Mali last month. Mozambique Hackers retake Mozambique government websites. After the government declared it had repulsed an attack earlier in the week, hackers claimed that they had regained control of more than 30 websites in Mozambique. The newest attack was claimed by a group known as Yemeni Hackers. The hackers claimed to have fully hacked 34 ministries including the Ministry of Defense, the National Disaster Management Highways Administration, water agencies as well as the Defense Ministry and National Land Transport Institution. If ransom demands were not met, they also threatened to leak sensitive information. Kenya and Ethiopia Kenya, Ethiopia in talks over electricity imports Kenya and Ethiopia have started talks on Nairobi's plan to buy electricity from the 4.5 billion Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam and began generating power. This is according to Ethiopia's ambassador to Kenya, Meles Alem, who say that power exports to Kenya are part of Ethiopia's economic diplomacy, which is at the center of the country's foreign policy. The neighbors had deliberated on previously signed power trade agreements and deals on the interconnection of power systems in light of progress made on each side. Madagascar Madagascar braces for yet another cyclone, the fourth cyclone this year. Winds up to 135 km per hour battered Madagascar as Cyclone Emnati made landfall, becoming the fourth major storm to hit the Indian Ocean island in a month. Emnati struck on the southeastern side of the island where another cyclone Batsirai killed scores of people about three weeks ago. More than 30,000 people were evacuated ahead of Emnati's path as a precaution. The government's Office for Risk and Disaster Management stated the island is recovering from the effects of Cyclone Batsirai, which hit on February 5th, killing at least 124 people, damaging or destroying the homes of 124,000 and displacing around 30,000. Last week, Storm Dumako killed at least 14 and displaced more than 4,300 people. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change has forecast that the proportion of intense tropical cyclones will increase. Ethiopia 14-year-old schoolboy generates electricity for village. A 14-year-old schoolboy is being held for producing electricity from biogas, lighting up a number of houses in Burana Zone, southern Ethiopia. Adan Hussein Dida, a grade 8 pupil at Tula Web Primary School, said he launched the venture to help his people. He began the venture from his parents' garden where he disposed animal waste in a 2-meter deep pit, helping him generate sufficient electricity for 8 homes charging 87 cents monthly. The money goes towards Adan's family's expenses. South Africa South African non-profit is going to court to break open Pfizer and J&J's COVID-19 secrets. A South African organization has started legal proceedings to demand the commercial details around COVID-19 vaccine supply in the country, the kind of information that coronavirus manufacturers have sought to keep secret across the world. The non-profit Health Justice Initiative said it had filed papers in Gurtang in an action that seeks to compel the Minister of Health to hand over a range of documents. It wants to see not only contracts and agreements, but also wants copies of all COVID-19 vaccine negotiation meeting outcomes and or minutes and correspondents involved. The Human Justice Initiative launched its efforts to obtain the documents in July 2021 under South Africa's Promotion of Access to Information Act PAIA. Those formal requests were effectively denied most recently and the organization is planning to take the matter to court. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, follow, share and like our video. It's the best way of supporting us. Great news, you can now pre-order our children's book Maua and the Gardens of Plenty, a book that teaches children the power of great ideas. This book is the best way to start exposing your children to African stories told by Africans. Find the purchase link in the description below. You can directly support this new series by becoming our YouTube member, Patreon or donor. And remember, Africa is watching.